I need to just do one last thing. The intro. The, oh, the intro. Hey, so we are starting here with, how should I address you? Kwongo or something else? Uh, I guess Kwongo is what most people know me as online. Yes, so am I link linking your stuff? Uh, I'll give you my Discord. You can use my Discord because my Twitter I don't use it as much anymore. I only use the private one. Yeah, it's a mess, but yeah. Alright, so this is Klongo, my eldest child. They like to go by they and them pronouns. So we are going to do a makeup look. Um, they are interested in doing like a punk look where it's like really blown out. Uh, and we're gonna go with greens and blacks for eyeshadows. Um, I also wanted to use the new Davina Halo Moon collection. I'll show you which color. <laughs> I've actually written down all the different colors. I wanna sit next to you so you can see me. Okay. <laughs> so Proteus, which is. The green? It is green. Wow, that is really pretty. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know? Bleh. So that's the thing, I show it on camera and it doesn't really look all that different. I'm using this color here, Proteus. Now this shift, so I've still got bleh. I have my retainer in because I haven't worn it all day, I need to wear it. Um, it shifts between like a lime green and gold and it's more opaque than the other toppers. So I wanna use that. And for the base colors, I am using the Club Nebula um, by Kaleidos um, in conjunction with Angelica Nickfist. So this is the palette, and I've had it on my channel before, if you have watched me before. And I will be using the greens here. So there is Queen of Blades in reference to Starcraft. And which one's the green? Gravity. So yes, um, I already have done the eyebrows, so I've just used the Honey Pot from Pink Honey and just a little bit of concealer around the brows, primed the face and used primer on the eyes. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Queen of Blades using the E54 Medium Sweeper by Sigma. And I'm just gonna pack that into the corners. So I'm gonna do a sort of halo eye look. But really blast the uh, the wing out. Mm. Make it humongous. Okay, so just turn your head a little bit. Red mouth, please, eyes. Close. Okay. So it helps to have your eyeballs looking down. Now, um, Klongo has different eye shape to me, so just open your eyes. I'm yeah. gonna make sure that I sh obviously do the colors to their shape. So hooded, I can just you know, move every second. All right, open your eye. Okay, close again. So this is a good example with, I guess, hooded eyes and seeing like, you just need to take it slow and slowly build the shape up. Cat. <laughs> Hi. This is Phage. No, um, can't see her. Yeah, no, you can't see her down there, but you might see her tail. <laughs> I feel like she's even more, to put your chin up, close your eyes. Uh, she's even more cuddly now that it's winter. But also with age, she's getting more cuddly with age. Yeah, she's always in my room. Or yours, depends. And sleeping on our heads. Yeah. All right, open your eyes for a minute. Yeah. Just turn towards me a bit. Okay, close. That's okay to be a little bit messy. I mean, I, I will clean it up a bit, but Yeah, this uh, this shadow is uh, very pigmented. All right, so I'm gonna go in now with gravity and sort of try blend those edges out a bit. 
and I'm using the other side of the brush, which is the E38 Diffused Sweeper. Oh, that's such a nice one. Mm -hmm. Like this is where the fun part comes is the blending of the colors. Just turn them a little bit like that, I think. So before we got started today, we got dinner ready. We got dinner started and Kwongo helped me set up the roast. Yeah, it was um, wet, <laughs> cold. Yeah, it was really cold. So I did a soup. So we've got two whole chickens and um, it's okay. This is one problem I find with the primer is that it's a bit too wet and it recreases so because i don't like to set primers on the eyes i just want to set it with the eyeshadow um, so i'm just going to go back in and make sure those creases are gone um yeah back to the chicken <laughs> um yeah i cut it up for the soup and my fingers are still defrosting like my, my ring finger still hurts from how cold it was Just open your eyes a second. Yeah. And then when you're like blending two colors, you can just keep going back and forth between the two colors until you get the gradient that you want. I'm kind of scared doing that. Like when I do it myself, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's just gonna become bad after a while. Um, start light. So you go in lightly and like small because it's going to blow out and get bigger. Mm. And this is the other thing. Uh, Colombo has quite a deep set eye here. It's like a fold, which is very similar to their father's. Um, my husband's eye is very deep set and folded here. Um, which is making it difficult to get the eyeshadow in there. Just open your eye. So I'm going to build this wing out a little bit. Actually, open your eye because I want it to go in line with the lower waterline. Mm. I think I've noticed um, with those people who have like really heavy um, hooded eyes. Yes, very hooded eyes. They do this thing with their eyeliner and the like make it go back over like arrow <laughs> yeah when, when we do the eyeliner we'll do it with your eye open mm. and the thing is we can always clean up with concealer at the end like that's how you get that nice sharp wing mm. just cleaning it up at the end open your eye is it not going well Oh, I think I went in with that too early. All right, I'm going to go in with Proteus now, and hopefully we can get what that looks like on camera. So this is obviously not my usual um, studio setup. <laughs> As you can see, the kitchen. Oh no, you can hear the washing machine too. Oh well, close your eyes. Um, I wanted to be in front of the sunlight, so we've got the curtains open. So the sunlight's on, like diffuse sunlight. And I've also got the light. Ring light on. Yeah. Ah. And as you can see, this just like instantly transforms the look. Well, <laughs> there's just a bunch of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. I just hate. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can also pack on a little bit with the brush. We'll see how that goes. And also blend out to the other colors. So because uh, Klongo has, like, when you open your eyes, you can't see any of the lid. 
we are really dragging up into this brow bone just so we can actually, you know, see all the colors when the eye is open. And this is a very dramatic, you know, punk look. So we can go crazy, which is always good fun. so weird seeing your thing go over my eye. <laughs> and in the end, nothing beats a finger. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I got something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> what? Why I'm not? joking. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? Um, we've done that. All right. Close your eye, and I'm, I'm just going to blend some of the green on top so you get a transition going on there. So this is the Queen of Blades, the dark green. Just tilt your chin up. Yeah. Alright, turn a little bit. We'll get up there. And that's why sometimes you can make a big mess with makeup. And you just gotta wait to the final look because it all comes together in the end. And sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta you start or just take it a little. That's upsetting, but all right, I'm going to clean the eye up and then you can see what that looks like before I go on and do the other eye off camera. And I realized I don't know, I've been looking up at the mirror the whole time. You're in the center. I know. Okay, so now you can see how the shape of the eye looks that it's been cleaned up. So I'm going to finish the other eye off camera. Then um, probably come back, do the foundation and everything. And then we'll finish the under eye off. And that will complete the, the eye look. So, yeah. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Switch it off conversation. <laughs> no, Camera's um, coming no. on. We're just talking about this. <laughs> about that. No, we're just saying how Colongo feels a little bit shy on camera. Yeah, I do. It's like I know we're just talking about it. Your personal image, and then I interfere with it because I don't care. Even though I have a private account, and then I do care. It's all right. You're still young and. That's the thing, you don't want to make mistakes because people like to drag stuff up from our childhood and be like, look at this person and look at the mistakes they made. Yeah. Cancel culture. Mm. Alright, so we're going to go in with Mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, not the most professional setup, but it works. Alright, so we're going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fesh Foundation in, try to say F with my retainers in. Oh yeah, you wear retainers. <sighs> Pretty fresh foundation Pretty. in Fair Thirty N. So this is our winter color. Um, I'm still gonna mix it with the pyrite, um, the glow lust because Quango does have olive skin. So we're just gonna do one pump. So I have two pumps of this uh, to one pop pump of the foundation. Um, but we're going to do a little bit less because I think Kling Klongo is still a bit more pale than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm more pale, um, and I do really pale window. Just, just can't retain color. But then when we see the sun. Oh yeah, when we see the sun, I go brown. Here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. Oh, um, Amali gets really upset whenever there's a Beatles song on. Because Amalia had an ex that just loved the Beatles and was like, oh, I also like the Beatles. And now Amalia no longer likes the Beatles. What a horrible person ruining the Beatles for her. Yeah. <laughs> that was that a good color match? Move your head that way a little bit. Yeah. No, like tilt the dink. Oh, like <laughs> that kind of too. That works. <laughs> I go back to normal. Oh, oh, this is terrible. Leave me alone. It's fine. Do it that way. It's part of the process. It all works out in the end. See, I was like too peachy. 
that's the annoying thing with trying to find foundations for olive skins because mm. very few brands do olive tone like olive undertone products yeah the closest you can get is maybe like a yellow but then i look too yellow yeah i know so peach is too orange yeah, and yellow is too yellow and then neutral is going Sad. to be something it's it's just not it's just not um so yeah i i enjoy using the oh that's perfect almost i enjoy using the god i can't think of words the glow Global. no the auric there we go auric glow lust <sighs> in pyrite because it adds that oliveness to it i mean it's not perfect oh my god but I'm too scared to get. Look at me for a second. Yeah. Turn your head. Thank you. Um, I am too scared to get like a green color corrector and mix it with my foundation. I guess one day I will, but right now I'm still a pussy. Oh, well, why not though? Like you could just. Because I don't know what to buy. I do. <laughs> Nyx has some color correctors. Bye, bye. Thank you. Get into your nose. Oh, also wet. <laughs> Moist. Yeah, like every time something goes up my nose, they just like... I'm pretty sure the James Charles palette like messes with my nose. That needs to go in the bin. Yeah, that does need to go in the bin. Actually, I'll just do it tomorrow. <laughs> Molly doesn't get affected by it and like the parents keep losing all their stuff and I'm like, what the hell? And then he's like, yeah, because they, they, um, they moved houses. So all the got... stuff I gave her that's gone? She has like... Most of the palettes, I think some of the foundation, and that's about it. Okay, see, T turn your body a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. You can see how it's peachy here and then green there. It always becomes way more apparent. You can tilt back. The color difference, our oliveness when we get to the torso. Yeah. Because the face is weird. The face can do all sorts of stuff. Your skin is drier than mine. Okay. You have more texture on your skin. It's the teenage skin that does not do skincare. It's not like my skincare. Well, I I don't need it really. Do I? I well, that's your that's your option <sighs> if you do it or not. No one needs skincare. Okay, but like it's fine. Okay. Oh, I just got a little fever. Sorry. It's fine. You've probably been getting a lot of mine. Usually when I do, like if I work with clients, I'll breathe through my nose. It's become subconscious now. I don't breathe through my mouth when I'm working with people. I always breathe through my nose just because I know what it's like being like in a dentist chair or massage or whatever. And someone's breathing into your face. It's so disgusting. So yeah, usually I'm always breathing through my nose when I am working on clients. I'm just going to use... I know it's dirty. It's got my face on it. <laughs> it's fine. Look up. Okay, just. So you look so pasty now. Mm -hmm. Compared to my head. <laughs> ah, the, all the. It's called glossy. Yeah, but it's glowy because it's. It's glowy. Wow, look at the steam building wow. up in here. <laughs> So we, we usually always have the window open so the cats can get in and out to the balcony. And we have it shut and we're cooking. It's really and steamed up. It's all steamed up now. We can barely see how it's kind of pretty though. It is pretty because it's raining. You can see the water drops and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's steamy. <laughs> okay. Very dewy and glowy and a bit pale. Um, but we're oh, going to add, is it it's actually not that bad. It's just that you've got even texture now. So we're going to add some yeah. like bronzer and stuff. to. Yeah. Color. Cause it's all just the one color. And like the only difference you see is my cheeks. <laughs> okay. What are we going to do? Okay. So for bronzer, we're going to go with the charisma contour palette by Kaleidos. I may also contour a little bit, but we'll start off with the bronzer and see how it goes. And I am using the BH Cosmetics V2 uh, Tapered 
brush. And I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's tapered something. It'll be in the link down below anyway. Turn towards me a bit. So I'm just going to do oh, that a bit. And I was like, yeah, we're doing a gothy look and a pasty face can look good, but having that definition is what really does it, you know? 10. And that's why I wanted to use a more cool tone bronzer here and not have, because um, the other bronzer I have is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but I find that too warm and I wanted to make it a bit more cooled down for this. It smells funny. Yeah, that smells so weird. Yeah. I still can't place it. Like it's still it. lingering as well. It smells like summer, but I don't know from what. Turn that way. I don't know. It reminds me of Nino. I don't know. Something about it. Something artificial. Way too sweet. It smells like, I think it's pineapple. Can you, can I get a whiff of that again? I'm um, gonna analyze it. Like I made, we made artificial scents in um, high school. Like we're doing chemical reactions and everything. And it smells like false pineapple that I made in- um, It's pineapple E. Yeah. I think it's false pineapple. That's what it smells like to me. Yeah. And it's got like a um, kind of like tropical pattern on it. So you, it's not nice. <laughs> like they brought out new bronzers now and it's like cake. Like so you got oh, one that's a cake, okay. one that's a donut, one that's coffee and I think it was that can go. biscuit maybe for the other one. Um, so they're all going to have strong smells, I know that. That can go very wrong, or... Yeah. I'll just do a little bit on the neck as well. Also, I like to use the powder products to help set the foundation compared to using a setting powder. Because um, setting powders can give white cast. I don't have a good setting powder yet, and I do find the ColourPop one too give a bit of a cast. Actually, you tell me, do I have a cast down here? A cast, what is that? White, like you can see a white blast. It, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think I do. I don't believe so. Um, unless that's just the lighting that we have right now. No, I do have highlighter on, so that's a really nice highlighter. Mm. But down here, I don't think it's white casting. No, so it's, it's not. I think just the initial application, I can see like when product really residue strong. but then once it's sort of settled it, it is translucent there is no white cast okay look at towards me am i doing a little bit of my nose so the nose is like giant i thing. really like the thing where they put the red on the nose i think it looks cute like as in the blush or I think, I think it's blush i'm pretty sure it's just like right. it's right on the nose with a bunch of red hey or is that right on the tip? Yeah, right on the tip. I'll do a... Oh, it's going to look weird with this. Thing. I know, it will. So, I'm, I'll, I'll just say, I like it. Um, so, I am going to contour a little bit. Because you have such beautiful round cheeks. But we want to try and uh, oh, hollow no. you out a little bit. Yeah. Start up in the corner of the ear here. Just turn a bit. And then we can drag it down, and that can help carve something out. I was saying earlier to Congo that um, it's so different working on younger skin because um, Congo is 14, and I'm so used to working on my 31 year old skin, or I work on my mother's skin, who's I think she's 40. No, 50. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's 50. Otherwise, I've been telling everyone the wrong age. No, no, no she's 55 <sighs> now. Yeah, 55. So I'm used to working on, I guess, softer, looser skin. And I'll say, that would have been really suspicious if she was 40 and you're 30 and I'm 14. That does... And guys, we had a quick break to turn the roast over, put some veggies in, and now back. 
back to the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do the uh, eyeshadow under the eyes now. Oh my god, my ears are doing weird things that I get like shivery. It's weird. Mm -mm -mm. I think I started with Queen of Blades. Carrigan, Queen of Blades. Alright. The Look one up. with the long, the purple? The tentacle hair. Look yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Don't I stalk off the babies? I'll love to play it again, but I had no friends that play it. I keep forgetting why I'm not playing games, and then I remember my back hurts. Mm. <laughs> you can close. Oh, okay. I'm like giving you a break. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now blend out with green. Ooh, and music. I got a story to tell. <laughs> okay. So um, my. Can you can I do this whilst you talk or not? Yes. Okay. Um, my, my music teacher, um, he's cool, cool guy, um, but after class, because, you know, I was just bored, I was like, oh, yeah, I got a song suggestion, um, for when we do guitar, and he's like, okay, yeah, what is it? I'm like, Aeros by Sister and Dan, because I actually kind of know that, um, and he's like, yeah, I would love to, but, like, it might be a little too hard for the others, I'm like, you're literally making us play drums, he's like, yeah, I know, but easy and I'm like it's not play what drums we're playing drums right now and I'm like that's that's too hard for me and but I still do it and he's like eh, okay I'll think about it so yeah it's okay he actually doesn't well the bass rift for aerials is simple but I don't know about the rest yeah I don't know about the rest the but what I learned it was I don't know if like the shift is coming on camera but the shift looks so Let good see if it is coming on okay. camera I think it's a little bit. It's a little bit. At the end, I'll like just grab the camera and yeah. show you what it looks like. We'll so take that. Not my nose. It ain't my nose. It's fine. All right. I'm looking at the camera weird. Like I look into the mirror and I go, and school. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the hard part. Doing the mascara. Mm. Are you able to do mascara yourself? I can sort of do it, not amazingly, but I can. Okay. A lot of the time, I'll make a mistake and be like, "Ah, oh, shit." So, what I used to do is like look at my shoulder, and then like I'll be like, "Fight against me pushing on your eyelashes," because yeah. when you look at the shoulder. It sort of has the eye mid-range. That's how I kind of learned to do it on myself. Just go stare at one point and Look push down a little bit. I really need to put pressure to get to the lower lashes. I learned my mistake, do not go down because it'll just go on the bloody skin. It's better to have a little bit than to try to go the whole way and ruin the entire look. Mm. I'm just going to set a little bit with, um, sorry, the concealer. I don't know. This light color. I find it good on the eyes a bit just to brighten. Just turn towards me a little bit. Thank you. So going in with the ColourPop Palatial, Palatial? I think it's the, um, Palatial. the yeah, dark, Palatial. The Palatial? No, it's not Palatial. Palatial. The Dark Blooms Collection, and that's what it looks like. I'm going to use the Sigma E, no, F, F53 Air Contour Blush Brush. Brush, brush. Blush, brush. Oh, you said blush brush. Oh, man. All right, so I like to go up to the temples. And then turn. Klongo has amazing cheeks and just so much volume. My, my face is so sallow. Shallow? Sallow. Oh, okay. 
Solo's like, you got the deep set cheeks. Yeah. Him. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful cheeks. So that's so lovely. Um, I get really red. Like, I, I haven't noticed it before, but I get really red. Yeah, you blush well. Mm. It's not, it's not redness like rosacea. Like, you don't want that. No. But you get nice redness. Okay. That's good. I know like red and green are opposite colors, but I think that's why it works. Um, you wouldn't want to use pink because pink is the opposite in the light the spectrum. And it sort of clashes a bit um, with the olive skin tone. So I'd rather go peach route than a pink route. Mm. I'm doing that little bit on that nose for you. There you go. But I, I like them. I they know. Cool. It's in fashion right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure it goes down a little bit as well so, so yeah. it matches up. Oh, yeah, then I finished contouring. You did it? There's been so much. No, I needed your cheeks. Oh, uh, there's more. You go into the orbital a bit and then down. Look at me, I need you straight on. I'm oh, such a big nose. You have a beautiful nose. You have more of a button nose than big. What? I have a big nose. Yeah, but it's still big. You have a nose that suits your face. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm still saying it's big compared to other people's noses. I don't know where this obsession with small noses came from. Like I know in the 90s, that was the surgery to get, was rhinoplasties. So like when Friends was popular in the 90s, it was all about nose jobs. And they kept like speculating that Jennifer Aniston got a nose job. Oh Wait, God. why is that a big deal? Because everyone was doing I don't know who job. Jennifer Aniston is, who's that? <laughs> I the chick from Friends, the blonde one, the Greek one, Brad Pitt's ex-wife. Who the fuck's Brad Pitt again? Oh Who's Brad Pitt? Uh, I got okay, her interview, so the, interview of the vampire. Oh, that dude, mm -hmm. okay. Louis, Louis. Louis. Not, not Lestat, Lestat's Tom Cruise, Louis's the brown head one. Yeah, and, uh, yeah okay, because I was like, you're confusing me there, I already knew. That bitch face. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't really like him. I don't, I just, uh. Yeah, I know. That's thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what to do with the eyebrows, if I should I do anything know. at all. Um, I don't know, they feel kind of, see, yours are very full. You have a lot of eyebrow. That's because I filled them in. I know, but you still have a lot of eyebrow. <laughs> End of story. Well, yeah, I do have eyeliner. It's time to wing your eyes out. Snatch. No. No, it's not, snatch is different. Snatch is... Um, snatch eyebrows. It, it's a thing. No, but there's also snatch for other things. I know, but in the makeup world... Okay. Oh, jeez. Look straight ahead at me. At, at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do this because your eyes are different. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to use Space Age Prophecy, which is like a multi-chrome, uh, peach to green. And I'm going to be using the F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush by Sigma. Let's turn towards the camera a bit. Turn a bit. So getting the light angle. Turn. Just keep turning. I don't know what my hair is going to look like, so it's going to be disgusting. And we can't see, oh, you can see in the mirror, I can't see in the monitor. I don't know, you can fix your hair up the way you want it to be. 
Oh no, it's been pushed down. Oh, that looks so weird. I don't see my. Well, it's just part of the process. I didn't say anything. <laughs> so yeah, we have done two different wings. It's alright. What's that noise? I told you, it's the potatoes bubbling. <gasps> oh! I was really scared. I thought, I thought her fire was like about to just... <laughs> eh. See, sometimes my hair just goes flat and then like round and then sometimes it's really fluffy. Whatever. Okay, just sit. There you go. Alright, you need a haircut. Because, yeah, it's yeah. really weird and gross. Like the front part is short here, no, and then it goes long, and then it goes short, and then long, and then up, all the way to the top. So it's like almost like a weird hair and cut, but it's a really it's bad, bad it's undercut bad. So that's growing out. But... Anyway, this is the finished look. <laughs> Okay, the um, the phone completely died oh, as soon as I said, finished look. Um, anyway, we went and did the lips whilst my phone was charging, and this is the completed look. Yeah, this is completed. Um, yeah, it's a bit difficulty to lips and eyes. Well, you know, um, <laughs> every lip is different, and so we've just been learning what's the best shape that we can achieve, especially with black lips because yeah. black lips are hard to pull off so you know we wanted to make sure that it was perfect before we got onto camera yeah <laughs> um i'm gonna just take the camera off right now and then like move around clongo's face so we can see the multi-chrome effect yeah okay so i'm gonna try and get the multi-chrome on camera so this is from above and then i'm gonna go down and see if we can get the shift. I think that's it. I think that that's the best we're gonna get on camera. Like that's quite golden. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm gonna stand on the chair. All right. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video <laughs> together yep. and introducing Wongo yep. to the family. The child. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was great thinking. It was fun. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was a good time. It was interesting. Chaotic. It was good. Yeah. Okay. So if you did enjoy watching this video, please hit the like button below. Consider subscribing if that is your thing and leave a comment. I hope to see you again next time on Makeup and Science. Bye. <laughs>